In this tutorial, we will use Scene Capture to automatically update texture for a Biome Core plugin. This will bring back ability to paint landscape biomes and see updates in real time. Hello guys, Mars Freeman is here and welcome to another PCG tutorial. So we are back in the project, now it's scaled properly. If you didn't do it, check my previous video to scale landscape properly, so it's actually it is 1K or whatever resolution you used. First thing we're gonna do, we're gonna need to make a change in our landscape because we're gonna use a colors. Remember, we are using colors to identify our landscapes. We could use technically uh, a texture file. We could like assign, you know, to let's say to this rock, this one, then we could pick up green and all that. But there can be some blending issues and not all green grass is everywhere the same. So we can actually create just a color mask so we're back in that landscape material that they created uh if you're using any other auto material and everything else it usually the end of that material is similar you're usually gonna have this landscape layer blend that goes into attributes or something like that um something similar as i said most of the landscape materials use this if not then you probably can figure out the easy solution but anyways what are we gonna do is we're just gonna duplicate this one. Then we're gonna add a bool parameter, static bool parameter. And I'm just gonna call mine enable painting mode. Then what are we gonna do? We're gonna add switch, a switch. And make sure it's under the functions, this static switch. Because there are multiple switches, we're gonna use this static switch. So it comes with the true and false. So as a value, we're gonna put this boolean then in the false, we're going to put the previous one and in the true, we're going to put this one. So now we're going to copy this make material attribute right here. And we're going to make a layer color for the rock. So you're going to need to do this for every layer you have. So we can just make alternate color for sorting out uh, the biomes. So for example, uh, for so while holding number four on your keyboard and clicking, we're going to have a constant color. We're going to plug it in. We're going to open it up. Uh, let's set up whatever color. Let's say yellow. Make sure off is one. Click OK. So now you need to do the same thing for other colors. So whatever you want to be the color for your grass, snow, shore, river, and other layers you have. So once you are done, uh, your material needs to look like this. So I'm going to have like a green color for grass, blue for snow, a shore is yellow, and then this is like world, like pinkish for the river. So once you do that, then we're going to need to create two uh, material instances. And the reason is we are using a static switch and a static boolean. And basically what it does is it means it's not changeable. You, you, you can't really change it uh, on the go, on the fly. Let's say in the editor, we could make like a blueprint that just changes that value when we switch between these two. We can't do it because that's why the static value. But what we, what we can do with like one workaround is we can just take create two instance materi materials. Uh, when we gonna, one we're gonna call enabled and the other, and then we're gonna create another one and we're going to call this one disabled. Let's save it. And in enabled one, we're just going to enable this painting mode so we can see the paints showed up. Stuff we can do is switch between these two materials in a runtime or in the editor. We can just click one point, one button and it's just going to switch to the other material. So that's kind of like one workaround what we can do. So next thing we're going to do is we're going to create a blueprint, blueprint class, class and we're going to search for scene, scene capture uh, 2D. Let's select this one, blueprint scene capture, and we're just going to drag it into our landscape, uh, zero it, and move it a bit up somewhere here. So now we're going to need to edit a few things here. So first thing we can see, we have texture target uh, that we need to set. So let's create one. And we're going to do create a render target. 
let's create create one find the folder where it was uh i'm just gonna call this render target 2d so we can see that now it's automatically capturing whatever the camera sees we're just gonna put this to something like let's put this to the uh, 1k 1k texture and we're going to change this to 8 because we don't need that many colors so if you put this to the side now we can see we need to actually adjust our camera a bit i think this is the one so minus 90 so now if we move up we can see actually that our landscape is not fitting and it will be very difficult to match perfectly as a texture so one that's what we need to do is change this perspective to orthographic and then now we can change the width with this one don't don't touch this one i think leaving this one at like you know fifty thousand is fine enough all we need to do now is go up with this and you can match it right and now what i told you where it's important to scale your landscape correctly is actually very easy to scale it perfectly we're just gonna put 1009 as our resolution adding two zeros and bam it should perfectly scale to your landscape and um this height thing it's you take a look basically you move this camera just right there when the landscape pops up see it's like disappears and when you move a bit up you get to the point where it shows and that's where you can leave it currently we don't have anything spawn in our scene but if we would have a trees spawn you would see the trees here too and that's something we don't want so that's why next thing we're gonna do is if you go here and there is a called um, primary render mode we're going to choose show only list and now in show only list actors we're going to click this one and select your landscape and it's back so now it's going to capture only your landscape so it doesn't matter if you have buildings there trees uh, bridges your water materials rivers anything like that that could interfere with actually pcg graph this texture it's going to be ignored and it's going to capture this if there's any data you actually want to capture then you would just add extra actors and last thing um that i like to do, do is i also like to disable uh dynamic shadows and that's about it so now our capture is ready we can't use this texture yet with our volume core generator so what we need to do is we need to click this one and we need to do something called create static texture and this is the one we're going to use now here the problem with this static texture is is this one it's not going to automatically update so we're just going to make a quick change in our blueprint we're going to change something we're going to make like a, a bottom so this automatically creates this one because if you're going to use this one uh it's going to create too much lag and it's not necessary to update right away your pcg stuff while you're painting so let's take this texture for now uh let's just assign it let's open up this let's open up our volume texture projection now we can select this texture put it here make sure again it's your texture size so mine is 1009 with two zeros so one zero nine with two zeros by the same thing so again whatever is your landscape texture size that's what you put and just add two zeros so we can save this and now for example we, we want our landscape to use actually our new material right we are assigning this one now you can see this one updated this one is not updating the only way actually it's like you know we could create a new static texture but we don't want every time to create new static textures so i'm just going to show you how we can actually update this with a blueprint before we're moving forward is we can open up this scene capture and we're going to go to event graph and we're going to create two new custom events add custom event and we're going to enable let's say enable paint and we're going to set this to calling editor and then we're going to do another one uh disable disable paint and we're going to also call it an editor so what we can do now is 
we can do get all actors get all actors of class uh, lens so we're gonna get the landscape since we have only one we can just get a copy of reference one so first landscape it finds since we just have a one and what we're gonna do is set la we're gonna do a set landscape material and so for the enable paint we are gonna select our where is our enable and then we can just gonna copy this and for our like disable we could select this disable material let's set it here compile and save and now if we select our scene capture that we just we created and we go down to here are the defaults we have these two buttons now so if you click disable painting it set up our this instance and if we do enable it's going to enable this one so pretty cool so we don't need to manually switch or take anything it's just you really can just use this one and switch it between two but now we see this one is not updating so this is the texture we actually want to use for pcg to pick up colors from this one so what we're going to do is uh, in disable we're going to do convert scene convert render yeah convert render targets to two textures editor only so we need this one so something we can use in editor so as our render target we're going to use this tar this texture that real real time one and as as another one we're going to use this one that we created and we put here compile and save and now if we create we click disable we can see it switches back to the original material that we want and it updates this one and accordingly if you go here it updates here too and now we are actually ready to spawn our pcg stuff so if you go now to biome core let's just save it everything always because and now if we generate so now when we press actually to generate we see actually it didn't generate correctly and the reason is because our camera orientation is incorrect so if we actually look at our landscape um basically our landscape we can see this thing this is where the river is one river and goes like this and if you open up actually the texture file um we can see the river is actually this way so we actually need to rotate our camera to match so let's let's do that we're scene capture uh rotation i believe yeah this one so we're going to rotate camera again for minus 90 now it matches the viewport again like you know it depends how you look but if you see it's off try to adjust the camera angle and try again and now if we go back to scene capture let's do enable painting disable painting so it updates this texture then we can go by core by core and we're just gonna clean up and we're gonna regenerate and now we can see the trees have spawned correctly and voila it's basically ready and now like let's say if you want to make any corrections in your landscape all you have to do is really select your scene capture um not necessary i just like to actually paint more with the paint first but you know i do enable painting so you can see this we can go to landscape uh, select anything let's say for example I want uh, let's go painting let's select grass for example I don't want here to have a river anymore so I'm just gonna paint this all off let's increase the brush size so we can just mask this all out right so we don't want river here I don't like it so I just want here to be more brass so we can go back again select your scene capture uh click disable paint here we go
And now we don't need to go back to the Gaia or anything. It just does everything real time. And super easy. And that's about it. And I actually created myself a tool. This tool basically does exactly the same thing as what I just show you. Plus it actually automatically resizes this biome core. Uh, it automatically adjusts these texture size. Actually, it's not going to adjust here but actually I have exposed as a variable right here to automatically adjust. Thanks for watching. I hope you found this tutorial useful and it's gonna help you now to use the new PCG plugin even better and more convenient. Don't forget to like, subscribe and see you in the next one. Bye.